Welcome to the first video of 12 in this Pitching Mechanics series. This is gonna be one of the best sets of videos I've ever put up on YouTube and Facebook. So if you're new to the channel, you guys definitely have to subscribe and check out this series. If you're a pitcher and you're looking to get better because this is it right here. Other guys sell programs about this stuff for hundreds of dollars. I'm putting it out here on YouTube and Facebook for free to help you guys get better, okay? It's a series of 12 videos, like I said. In my pitching program, this is actually just one module inside of my pitching program that has 12 modules in it, okay? And what we're talking about here is only a fraction of what you're gonna find in that program, but this is gonna be some super valuable information. And if you guys watch these 12 videos through all the way, I'm telling you, you're gonna take your pitching game to a whole nother level, I promise you that. This first video is about the setup, okay? Myself, I was a former pitcher in the Padres and the New York Mets organizations, and I only pitched from the stretch. I was able to top out at 96 miles an hour. My sinker was ranked number one in the Padres organization, as well as my slider was ranked number one out of all the pitchers in the whole organization. Again, I only pitched from the stretch, and that's what we're gonna talk about right now is the setup. How do you set up to put yourself into a great position to have success when you're pitching, okay? So, when it comes to pitching from the stretch, what we wanna do is we wanna take our sign first. I like to have the ball in my hand back here. We don't wanna have it hanging out here because the third baseman uh, coach can pick up your ball if you're uh, wiggling your grip or the catcher, or excuse me, the batter. Um, so I like to have the ball behind my back here and then rotate the ball as I come up um, for my grip, okay? So we're gonna take the sign, I'm gonna rotate to my grip, come up into my glove, okay? Now let's talk about the, the feet when I get set up. I wanna be about shoulder width apart, okay? My back knee wants to be bent. My front knee wants to be straight, okay? Now what happens is when I see guys start to do this and they put their front leg straight, they push their hips back. So when that happens, we wanna make sure that we take our hips and kinda of shift them forward. So even though we're getting this front leg straight, we kinda of want our hips to be closed because we don't wanna start opened up as we lift up, okay? We wanna start with our hips closed off and our shoulders closed off as well, okay? Right here. Now if you look at my feet, my back foot, the toe, will cut my front foot right in half. So I'm staggered a little bit. Now the reason we wanna be staggered is because now I can just lift straight up from here versus if I was straight in a line or back here, I have a lot of wasted movement to come back over this way. So if I'm staggered slightly with this knee bent and this leg straight, my hips closed, I can come from right here, get up and get going. And that's what we wanna do, especially if there's runners on base. Thanks again for watching this quick video on the pitching mechanics. This is video one of 12. I'll see you in video two.